were just building some wall burgers, Whisking. a great television show, and a very tasty burger, I can now say. Thank you, Rachel Ray. And that was a little sneak peek. Next week is Waffle Week here. Yes. That means, that means we give some love to the waffle iron that you probably mm. got. If you're married, you own a waffle iron, right? Or yeah, if you've yeah. ever been married, you own a waffle iron. Or if you have kids. And if you have kids, and we only use it for like waffle mix. So in the first waffle week, we used it to make red velvet cake. Mm -hmm. We used it to make brownies, focaccia, mm. pizza. I mean, it was crazy. Yeah. So today, because we were talking wall burgers. Yes. We thought we would make like a, a French fry waffle, sort of like poutine, like yes. the Canadian treat. I, I've worked so many times in Canada, I've eaten more poutine than any other American on the face of the earth. A poutine, so this is perfect. For, for, for people that live on this side of the Canadian border, it's gravy fries with cheese, basically. Gravy, fries, and cheese curds. Mm. Delicious, nasty looking cheese curds. <laughs> but they're tasty, that's all that matters. They're amazing. So listen, you were telling me over the break that you guys are gonna be expanding up there, right, to Toronto? Yeah, we're opening uh, Wahlburgers in Toronto. We're opening two more in Boston. So that'll bring up to what, how many? Uh, it'll be f hopefully five within a year. We're gonna do one, I think, in Philadelphia as well. So we're, amazing. we're off and running. Amazing. Yeah, it's great. I love it when they're in Philly, because when I go down to do QVC, I can go over and get some burgers. All right, yeah. so. We got a couple of fat handfuls of just store-bought fries right from your freezer section, guys. I whipped up a couple of eggs, a little S&P, a little salt and pepper. Dr drown the fries in that. Donnie's keeping our keeping uh, the gravy, gravy ready. nice and, and whisked up. You can use turkey stock, chicken stock, beef stock, or veal stock. All you got to do to make stovetop gravy is melt butter. And in the same ratio, sprinkle in some flour. That makes your roux. I add a little Worcestershire sauce to deepen the flavor and the color. Lots of black pepper. Whisk in the sauce and let it thicken up. Done. We always called it Worcestershire sauce when we were kids. Worc and Bugs Bunny said Worcestershire sauce. Yes, yeah. that's right. Worcestershire Whatever you call it, the brown stuff that tastes really, really good. Yeah. So then you throw in about a cup of super sharp white cheddar cheese in there with your fries mm. and the eggs. And then basically you just take it over to the waffle iron, spread the waffle iron with a little butter. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that and then cram a bunch of french fries into it. I know, but it's really good, it's crazy. Now, this is not the breakfast you have when you're on your way to the gym in the morning, but it is kind of fun for a weekend Sunday brunch, and you can serve a burger right on the gravy fry waffles, mm, mm. right? Right? Yes. So you put this on high. That's called disco fries down. when you throw beef in disco it. Disco fries! Disco fries. So, Danny, look at this. Look at this. Wow. Look at how gorgeous and crispy. Is wow. that attractive or what? Mm. Doesn't that smell amazing? It smells like french fries. It smells, it smells amazing. Perfect. It smells like big cheese. Mm. Fries. Take that green thing, it's a ladle, next to the whisk there. I got the ladle. And put some gravy in this. All right, watch this. <laughs> this, this takes a lot of talent, you know. You'd think it's easy to <laughs> stir some gravy on TV. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Especially I got my brother, the chef. What are you doing <laughs> stirring with your left hand, idiot? <laughs> whisk faster, I taught you how to do it right. You successfully made the boat. There we go. Nice, nice, good? nice. Ready? Watch. Here's your ooh moment. Oh, what? Mm.